Hey guys, it's Jim here, and today I have a kind of interesting video that I wouldn't think I was going to be able to do this week, but opportunity arose, so I got to do it. So today I'm going to be comparing my Gibson 339 with the guitar I almost bought instead, Gibson 335. They are both a satin finish. Uh, mine, I believe, is a 2016. The 335 is a 2011. Now, on a surface level, these guitars look extremely similar, with the 339 simply being a little bit smaller. However, when you pick up both and you play them, they're definitely a lot more different than that. All right, so for starters, on the 335, this is a really good example. My hand right here, naturally sat down, full access. No issues trying to get to the higher frets on. My hand in the same spot on the 339. It's not the end of the world because I have kind of smaller hands, but the horn stops there. So this seems subtle, but in practice when you're actually playing, like I really gotta kind of really get your hand around here if you're if you're playing in this area. If you're not playing in, in this area and not many people really do for long periods of time, you're never gonna really notice this. I'm only pointing it out because I didn't realize how big of a difference it was. Now I picked this 339 over the 335 because I wanted more of a Les Paul sound and I wanted the smaller body. But when you have the two of them together, it's kind of interesting just how drastic the size difference is. All right, so on the 335, it does feel like it's a little bit further away. My left hand, my fretting hand, um, as far as reaching out and connect this to my body, it definitely feels like a, a bigger instrument, not just in the size of this, but in just the scale of the guitar itself which you wouldn't think in practice if you don't hold one of these in your hands because they have the same scale length. However, if I pick up the 339, all right, I put it in the same position that I would play it in, which is right there. You can see it. The 335, oh, it's, it's hard to film. The 335 does in fact go a little bit longer with my left hand here in the tenon and that's just, it's subtle, but I noticed it straight away and I didn't think I would because I didn't, I don't know, I didn't expect to. So when I first got the guitar, I felt like I was further away with my left hand than I would be if I was using the 339, if that makes any sense. The overall size, you have these two guys. That was ballsy, I know. You have these two guys. 339 oops, fits in like that. So it's definitely a bit smaller. So now I'm just going to test the acoustic nature of the guitars based on volume and stuff like that. Totally unplugged. As you can see, I threw in my dove in the comparison as well at the very end, just to give you a perspective on how loud an acoustic guitar would be and how close kind of this guy gets in comparison to the 339. Just a quick post film comment, I was having a lot of trouble keeping the 335 in tune and it has to do with the nut. It definitely needs a new bone nut, which it's kind of not the biggest surprise in the whole world, but you know, it's kind of a bummer. But just giving you a heads up. Thanks.
I don't feel uncomfortable holding this 335 in my hands. It kind of, it feels good to play it as far as sitting down goes. Standing up, I greatly prefer the 339. So, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm smaller. This isn't a heavy guitar by any means, it's just over eight pounds, but the 339 feels like a feather and just the scale length and the way that it works for me, it, it's a better fit for standing up and stuff like that. But if I were to use a 335 for recording or something like that in a situation where I'm gonna be sitting down, then I'd have absolutely no problems with this guitar. I think for pure semi-hollow vibe, it's, it's not really a choice. I think this is better, it just is. This guitar is just bigger. It sounds bigger. It feels a little bigger in your hands. This more, this gets you closer into the ballpark of an acoustic guitar than the 339 can. And I don't think anybody, even somebody like me who loves the 339 could ever try to argue otherwise. But I will say, I really think that that 339 is extremely underappreciated by people. Um, I get scared doing things like this because I kind of think, oh, well, what if I fall in love with this and, you know, I want to get rid of mine. But that's strangely not the case. If anything, it just makes me want to add a 335 size Gibson to my arsenal to complement the 339 because I feel like they're different enough. The 339 is more of a, a Les Paul that has a little bit extra warmth to it and it actually feels a little nicer to play as well to me in my hands. For some reason, the string tension, and I set both guitars up myself, and I set them both up uh, you know, the same. The string tension on the 339 consistently, it just feels looser on that specific instrument. Like it's just a really good fit for me and for what I like. This feels a little bit tighter and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a little more tension in the strings. Really shouldn't, shouldn't be because you know, scale length and stuff like that, but every guitar is different. And I really, really love that about my 339. It just feels so loose and fluid in my hands. I actually have to be careful when I play it because if I'm doing bends and I've been using a guitar like a PRS and I switch to 339, I'm gonna go sharp a lot because it's just, it just bends that easy. So in a live situation, I would rather have the 339. In a sheer studio situation, I think I'd rather have the 335 in a perfect world. You want both. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this comparison video. My biggest takeaways were, you know, the actual physical distance of my hand uh, compared to the 335 and the 339. The 339 feels a lot closer to me and a lot more compact. And the 335 feels a little bit bigger. It feels more like an acoustic guitar. But I love both. And now I'm in trouble because now I really want one of these to go along with the 339. So maybe I'll go vintage this time. We'll really buy something to hold on to for a long time. But that's neither here nor there, a topic for another day. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you could leave a like, I would really appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're into what I'm doing. And until then, I will see you manana.